everyone, welcome to the final build video of the Turbo 7X. Now I'm gonna go on a trip. Do I look? I don't know, I look weird sitting on this. Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great. So this is the final uh, video of the Turbo 7 project. As you can see behind me, she's almost done. So in this video, we're gonna install all the electronics and the wiring. Wiring is gonna be a lot of work, but this is my favorite part. I love doing this, especially the programming part of it. It's just so much fun for me. At the end of this video, we're gonna fully assemble the plane for the first time, turn it on, drive it around, take it up to the runway, and uh, yeah, test everything. I'm super excited. So before we get to the video, I want to ask you guys again to subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and also activate the notifications when the menu flight of this plane goes live. You don't want to miss that. Thank you guys so much and let's get to work. So here I'm preparing the wires for this whole plane. This is by far the most wires and connectors I have clipped in any project. I love building airplanes and I enjoy every step of it. But when it comes to wires, something about making those wires is so satisfying to me. I don't know why I love it so much. I take my time. I make them as pretty as possible. I don't use any extensions. I clip every single servo wire that goes to the center box or to any device. And the other end of the wires where they go to the wings or the tail. We use those big connectors that I also clip every single wire. And these are called uh, click connect. So we will finish the wires, sort them nicely and then install them inside the fuselage. And then we bolt the wings and we install the main board that contains all the electronics, the central box, landing gear controller, a gyro, and the light controller. Right, here's the main board. We have all the electronics almost installed. This is the central box 400, and that's another central box, the 220 in here, because I don't have enough channels on this or enough boards. These two central boxes are communicating via XBus uh, signal, which means I can clone any channel uh, from the main central box to however number I need, for example, spoilers are going to use one channel in here and I can clone six of them from this one and I can also trim them separately. It's actually fantastic what you can do with this stuff. And here I have two electron retracts controllers. Uh, I need both of them for the brakes because I have eight uh, brakes on the plane. Four are going to be connected in here and the other four in here. These ones are going to control the doors and the gear itself. This one is going to be controlling the wingtips. I can program the sequencer to operate the wingtips. We we'll have the gyro, the lights controllers from Unilight. It's the best. Alrighty, I love this. This video is sponsored by BCB Way. BCB Way offers the best custom BCB prototyping service. You can get instant quad for any of their services with minimum quantity requirements. They also offer CNC machining, which we use the most, 3D printing, injection molding, and more. Learn more at bcbway.com.
All right, things are coming together really quick. Everything uh, secured and looking good, so we're done with that. We already put all the wires inside here as well. And these are the doors. The doors are humongous. And I put two springs in there. This is to keep the doors uh, shut while the plane is off. Uh, inside, uh, look at this. This is crazy, the amount of wires and still by the way we don't have lights installed yet so there you go so technically we are uh, done with the fuselage this means tomorrow in the morning we will put the wings on bolt them in place we were working on these today as well the brakes are wired all the screws are in for the landing gear thrust tubes and the balance are glued this thing is so tough so strong now we did not film any of that unfortunately there is here a half bulkhead to glue this on this thing now is super solid tomorrow i will start with the programming once the wings are bolted all right
Don't forget to put the winglets down. Very clumsy. I just want to go full brakes. You burned them too. Oh, she's got tons of power. This is crazy. And the sound. You smell? That launched oh. off way quicker than I thought. Oh, you this, know is, this is amazing. That launched off way faster. This is amazing. This thing's gonna take off. Yeah. Take off. Won't I don't even know. need half the runway. No. Look at this. And the spoilers do help a bit. Oh, man. Uh, brakes are good. Power, which is this the most important thing was for me now. She looks so good on that turn, super scale. When it turns on the wrong way, super scale. All right, I'm so happy with this. I was smiling the whole time. This thing looks so amazing on the wrong way. Those CDFs, they sound so good and the thrust is amazing. The brakes are amazing and the landing gear is great. Honestly, we're so proud of this. Uh, just seeing it doing that turn on the runway, unfortunately, the turn radius is not so much, but seeing it turning, it looks so scaled. The next and final step is for it to fly good. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed. The excitement is building up day after day, especially when it comes to programming and wiring and just putting it together for the first time. I it just, I, I lose sleep over that. Anyways, there is still a lot to do uh, on this plane, like we made everything ready for it to fly, but there are still so many small details, there are no lights on it, there, is, there are a lot of uh, small things that we will work on, but after the main flight. So we are hoping to get it ready uh, by tomorrow for the main flight. And so wish us luck, uh, Tyler is getting ready as well to fly this thing because he is the pilot, you know, we did our job and the rest is on him, so no pressure, but I know that he got it just like any other plane. And so, stay tuned, uh, wish us luck again, and uh, we'll see you guys very soon, hopefully next week. All right, bye.